Hi, my name's Amanda. I am a coach and a trans channel and welcome to my channel where I channel. <laughs> I channel archangels and ascended masters, gods and goddesses, all kinds of beings of light to bring forward messages for all of you. And now that my series on meeting the archangels is complete, it looks like it's made room for all of these other light beings to come forward wanting to introduce themselves to you and share their wisdom with all of you. And today, Goddess Devi is coming forward with a really interesting message. She wants to talk about how it is not what you want that you actually fear most and feeling unworthy of what you want, failing to get what you want, not feeling capable of what you want, but it's actually the notion that there is nothing in particular that you are meant for. And that it's actually, you are fully open to anything and everything that you could possibly desire for yourself and that there is no one thing meant for you. And the idea that we are fully limitless and and we have all of this open-ended potential is on the one hand what makes us so powerful and what is really required to manifest is is this full openness but at the same time that creates a lot of uncertainty as well as deep-seated fear and anxiety is the fact that there is all this pure open potential but it kind of leaves us feeling insecure and inside of it. It's a really, really interesting look inside of the human psyche and how we have this push and pull inside of us where on the one hand, we want to feel this open potential and on the other hand, we fear the idea of it. I hope you enjoy it. It's absolutely brilliant. If this is the type of content that you like, stick around, click subscribe, tell your friends. <laughs> because I've got so many more beings of light to come forward to share their messages with all of you. Hello, my children. I am so happy to be here with all of you today. And I'm so happy to have an opportunity to speak to you because I believe that I have much to offer you in terms of a new way of looking at you that I do not believe that you will have had the ability to see quite like this before. And I am looking forward to sharing my perspective with you and hearing what you have to say and what you think about it in return. When you come into this world, you come in as a blank canvas. Your potential available for you. And you are so open to receiving everything that can be possibly made available to you. Because to limit yourself in any way is silly. Why would you want to do that? And you don't have to. Why would you want to make this world a more challenging place to survive in when you do not have to? And yet you grow up. And you tell yourself, I must be this way. And if I am not this particular version of me, then I am not right in this world. I'm missing something, that I am lacking something inside of me. And you go through life stuck to this sense of identity, not daring to veer outside of the lines for fear of what might happen if you do. Because if you were to color slightly outside of the lines of the idea that you have set out for yourself to be, then you will be a failure. And other people will reject you. They will laugh at you. And you will have to sit inside of the shame of knowing that you did not have what it takes be the version of you that you desired to. Do you see the limitation inside of operating in this way? 
And so I asked the question right here, right now, why would you on a soul level create this limitation for you inside of your human existence? Why would your higher knowing say to itself, I have a specific path with a specific intention. And if my human counterpart veers outside of what I have planned, then they have failed me. What good would that do you, I ask? And so that begs the question, why are you so committed to the ideology that this is the way it works? I understand the notion of coming into this world with a specific divine purpose in mind. And I understand the excitement inside of the discovery of what that might be. In living up to the expectations that you were indeed worthy of it. And perhaps this is where the idea of soul purpose comes from. The excitement of the human potential to live up to its own expectations. But this is simply the human perspective that is coming into play and creating limitation for itself without even realizing that it's doing it. There is something oddly dissatisfying inside of the realization that there is no purpose for you. Right? What do I do if there's no purpose? Who am I if there's no criteria? How am I supposed to find satisfaction inside of my life if I'm not here to live up to anything? How do I guarantee that I can feel satisfied? If there's nothing to work for, do you see, do you see the fear inside of the idea that there are no set expectations for you? Do you see the unease inside of the notion that the opportunities are endless for you? And that you get to choose what they are and dictate the parameters for yourself and live up to your own set of criteria of expectations. I'm bringing forward this understanding for you today because it is something that I have witnessed inside of all of you. And I believe that you are failing to recognize how you are creating the limitations that you are trying to do away with. There is nothing set in stone for you other than the belief systems that you have created for yourself that there are. Your soul has not created a divine plan for you. It has chosen certain elements of your personality, who you are at birth, where you are when you enter this world, and the dynamics inside of the relationships that will be formulated along the way. But what you do inside of that is up to you. And for just a moment, when you can recognize 
the breadth of opportunity that's truly available for you there. You can access it. But if all you feel is confusion and a sense of disappointment, that is worth noting. Because what that tells me is that you do not feel capable of creating a life that will satisfy you unless you have specific expectations that are predetermined. This shows me where you are limiting your own imagination to dream up a life for you that feels more fulfilling than the one that you believe someone else can grant you. And there is nothing inherently wrong with this. It is just worth noting. What if your ability is greater than the one that you give your soul self credit for? And that is why you are here and not them. Why do you continue to put your soul self up on a pedestal? and you underneath it. I do not have any answers for you today. I simply have questions because I believe that the questions are the part that you have been ignoring. You are always looking for the answers without ever asking yourself the questions. And it is through asking the questions that you can look inside of you to dictate what the answer is. Nobody can give you the answer other than you. You create your realities, my loves. And therefore the answers lie inside of you. And if you feel limited inside of the life that you have created for you, then you must ask the question, how am I limiting myself? What do I really want? What is really possible for me? And based on those questions, you get to determine what the answers are. You are that powerful. I have quite enjoyed this conversation today. It brings me much joy to invite you forward in this way and to witness each and every single one of you struggle inside of what I am bringing forward. And it is important to struggle because it is inside of struggle that you ask more questions. You seek more answers, except now you know that nobody can give them to you. And that can feel oddly dissatisfying if you allow it to, but there is also something incredibly empowering inside of that. I love you all. Call upon me when you are ready to be faced with the truth of who you are, which is limitless and endless opportunity, regardless of what that means for you and regardless of what that feels like 